Hi friends, welcome to our channel after a long, long time. Today we are going to see how to make authentic green Thai curry, which tastes just so good. Yum. By the way, I would like to tell you that this apron is stitched by my grandmother. That means my mother's mother from my grandfather's t-shirt. It's so good because she loves stitching and she also stitched a quilt for me, especially for me. First, let's see the ingredients. The first ingredient which we have here is oil. So I have used olive oil and uh, our normal cooking oil both. You can even use butter or simple normal cooking oil. The second ingredient is the main thing, the main ingredient in our Thai curry, which is this green Thai curry uh, paste. So this paste is a mix of various herbs and spices. So the recipe is down in the description box. So the main ingredients which I used were from this box. You can order this or even take it from your shop or nature's basket. So there we get this box. Then we mix all um, the ingredients well in a mixer grinder with lots of water and then this green paste is ready. Then we have tofu. If you don't have tofu, you can use paneer or cottage cheese instead. Next we have chopped vegetables. So we have broccoli, mushroom, peas which we get in the trikaya box baby corn and capsicum or bell peppers of red green and yellow color the last and the most important ingredient which is coconut milk so if you don't have coconut milk then you get this uh, coconut uh, milk powder you just add it in water and blend it and you get coconut milk or you take freshly grated coconut and put it in the mixer grinder with some water and then you'll get coconut milk now let's see how to make the green thai curry add some oil in a pan and wait till it's warm in the hot oil Add the green Thai curry paste slowly. And you need to fry this paste. At this stage, you can increase the flame to medium to high. After the paste has cooked well, we will add tofu and now mix it well cook this for a few minutes you see that the tofu is well coated in the green curry paste let's add the veggies one by one so first we'll add bell peppers or capsicum Wow. So I added the capsicum first because it cooks fast and if you want the capsicum to be really really soft you can add uh, you can actually boil the capsicum and then add it or if you want it crunchy you can directly add it like how I did. The curry color has changed so we will add the baby corn. Let's add the other ingredients which are mushroom and broccoli. Mix this really well and then we will add the peas. Here go the peas. Saute it for a few minutes and then we will put on the lid. Let the veggies cook on medium to high flame. The veggies are cooked a bit, like half cooked. Now we will add our main ingredient. I'm 
not going to pour it directly, but I'm going to put it in pots. So first, we'll put a little water and mix it well. Again, we'll add some. I have actually used one packet of ready-made coconut milk and one, uh, you know, some home beans. Mm. Wow. Nice. You need to change the spoon or whatever you're taking, like a spatula, after you saute it because now the curry is ready and we need to keep it uh, for boiling. Let it boil on low flame, low to medium. Before that, let's put some salt. You shall always taste the product or the dish you're making before you serve it. So I had put some salt, but it's not that tasty, so I'm going to put some more. Yeah. And now we mix it. Wow. Now let this boil for a few minutes. I would like to tell you all that you must be very precise about your proportion because there shouldn't be more vegetables and less curry. And even vice versa, like more curry and like, you know, just a quarter cup of vegetables, not like that. It should be in proper proportion. So here the curry has boiled and you can see that the curry and the veggies are equal. If you are diet conscious or something like that, you are always allowed to add more veggies as per your preference. Let's switch off the flame and let this cool down a bit and then we'll be ready to serve it. If you want more green color or more spice, you can actually take a mixer grinder jar, put some chilies, like however you want, some lemon juice and chopped coriander. So with some water, you grind it and make a puree and then add it and then boil it. So it will be tastier than the before one and you'll also get a green, good green color. If you, want, if you just want green color, you avoid chilies. That's the way. Lemon juice in Thai curry is very important for the green color because if you directly use coriander, it may be more dark green and that wouldn't look so good. This Thai curry serves four people. If you want more, you can double the recipe or if you want just for two people, you can reduce the re recipe to half. Our yummy Thai curry is ready. Thai curry goes best with brown rice. It just tastes delicious and it is also very healthy. The brown rice is healthy. This plate is for me because I don't like vegetables other than tofu and mushroom. And this plate is for my mama full of vegetables because she loves them. Thank you all for watching this video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye.